The U.S. war in Iraq marked its sixth anniversary this past week. So far, the war has claimed at least 4,260 American lives, and roughly 138,000 U.S. troops are still deployed there. Joining us from Washington is Thomas Ricks of the Washington Post and author of a new book about the Iraq war called The Gamble. Tom, good evening to you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. In the past, you have described America's handling of the war in Iraq as the worst foreign policy blunder in history. Thus far, how would you assess the way the Obama administration is handling it? Uh, I think they've come in thinking strategically, but I'm worried that they're going with too much optimism, kind of repeating the mistake that the Bush administration made of thinking they can get out of Iraq quickly. Bush thought he could get out quickly. Obama thinks he could get out quickly. I think they're both wrong. What should the administration do at this point in your mind? I think President Obama and the administration around him is just beginning to figure out quite what a mess Iraq is. Uh, I think they're going to be there longer than they plan to. Uh, just because one president hangs a mission accomplished banner up doesn't mean the, the mission was accomplished. Just because another president says it's going to be a non-combat mission does not mean the war's over. Now, Tom, when you look at the overall picture, is Iraq a safer place now than it was a year ago? Absolutely. Security has improved. But the purpose of the surge under General Petraeus was to lead to a political breakthrough, and that hasn't happened. So a lot of major problems are still hanging out there. In fact, all the major political issues that Iraq faced before the surge are still there. Foremost is how you split up oil revenues among the various people in Iraq. Second is whether Iraq's going to have a strong central government or be a loose confederation. But none of the basic questions facing Iraq are resolved at this point. Uh, Colin Powell famously said about Iraq, you break it, you own it. Uh, was he right? And is there any realistic way to have a timetable on getting out of Iraq? Uh, one thing you find the closer you get to Baghdad is the more officials think we're kind of stuck there. General Odierno, for example, the top U.S. commander in Iraq right now, says in my book that he would like to see 35,000 U.S. troops in Iraq in the year 2015. That's certainly not something the, admi the Obama administration would welcome, but I think they may find that that's where they're going to wind up. Thomas Ricks of the Washington Post, and again, the author of a new book about the Iraq war called The Gamble. Thanks a lot. You're welcome.